homework, um, it's the pink worksheet titled um, Homework Check Day 1. Okay. Um, identify each function displayed in the graph as increasing. Always annotate decreasing or a constant function. Explain how you can tell. Okay. The class did a great job in explaining how you can tell. Most of you did great. The only thing I need you to use here is the word horizontal. When you explain horizontal line, that's how you can tell it's a constant. And this is an increasing function. function because <coughs> from left to right it's going up okay um, this is a constant because it's a horizontal line this one is decreasing function because it's from left to right it's going down or you can say from zero here's zero it's going down because from left to right write your name if you ever get confused which way it's going write your name in there You'll always see if your name is going down, because I, you can't. Um, then it's going from left. You write from your left to the right. It's going down, because from left to right, it's going down. Okay. And this one here, this one's decreasing. constant and increasing. See how the word's going down? Decreasing, it's going down. Constant, stay the same. Increasing, going up. Okay. So, identify the interval. Okay, so decreasing. It's from zero to five um, constant is from five to eleven increasing is from eleven to 15. It's too easy. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is increasing. See it's going up. Decreasing. Constant. Okay. Increasing. from 0 to 12 decreasing it's from 12 to 21 ooh what's this counting by 2 to 22 um, constant is from 22 to 38. Okay, that's an easy one. Here's where a lot of you may have trouble. The back side. Um, did I not change these? 
Okay, good. I ch the Ethan one I didn't change, huh? I just copied and pasted the same graph on here. Why did I do that? I don't know. This graph here. Okay. Ignore this graph, the blue lines. Ignore that because you're going to graph on the same one. Ethan walks from home to school at a rate of, at a rate, rate, remember, is slope of um, equals to 10 miles per second. Second now is time, but we're going to use x, remember. Um, it takes Jesse five minutes to walk to school. Write an equation that represents Jesse's, write an equation to represent Jesse's distance. So we're doing distance. Remember distance is equal to rate times time. Now because we're using y, that d is a y equals to the rate which is m, we call that slope. Rate and slope means the same. Distance times time, time we call it x. This is time in seconds. And up here is um, distance, d. Okay, this all this number is distance, m times x. So we know that m is so y equals to m rate is 10 x. That's the equation. Graph the equation. Okay. Well, here's zero zero. We can go up 10 over 1 and until we get that we want to see the distance um, he is from home um, he walks for 5 minutes to the school so 5 minutes okay we need to change that minute into seconds multiply it by 60 use a calculator we should get 300 so y equals, so x stands for time, y equals to distance, x equals to time, and the 10 is the rate, okay, or the slope. That's what it means. So we change this into 300 seconds because this is in second here so you need to make this also in seconds so that is mm, 10 times 300 that gives you y equals to 3000 so it starts at 0 and 3 and 10 um, in 300 seconds so you put 300 oops sorry there 300 Second, you know, go up to three thousand, which is right here. Okay, and you can draw up, connect the dot, and he's, he's walking at school. And if you do it small enough, it'll be ten over one. Okay, but this is the equation, and this is what you need to graph where the school would be. Okay, hope you can draw a little bit straighter. Um. Justin is at school, 400 feet from his house. Okay, he stays there for three hours. So Justin, you're at school. Here's school. At 450 feet, 4,500 feet from home. He stayed there for three hours. So one, two, three, this is hours, times and hours. This is distance. Dinner must be ready. I'm trying to do this before I eat dinner so it doesn't get out too late. Okay. Um, so for three hours, he stayed at school. Write an equation that represents, um, uh oh, not Kaylee's. 
It should be Justin. Sorry, you guys. Sorry, Justin. I didn't cha change the name from the house. Graph your... Okay. So, distance is D equals to rate times time. Well, they didn't give us any um, any information on rate. So, we know he's... Um, 450 feet away from home and this time doesn't count because that's how long he stays so that's how far he is so instead of using D for distance we use Y for distance so Y equals distance is 450 and then that's just that line for three hours just a flat line okay and then the last page here Andrew is at school 480 feet from home he leaves school and rides his bike at a rate of 10 miles per hour 10 feet per second so write an equation that represents Andrew's distance distance is D equals to RT remember instead of D we replace it with Y R is the same thing as slope, we give it M, T is time, and we use X, time, and in time in this case in seconds. Okay, so we know that, we know the distance Andrew is at school, which is 480 feet from home, so that's the distance, that's Y. So remember, y equals to distance. You always define your variable. x equals to time. m equals to rate. Okay? Always define the variable before you do anything else. All right, got that. We know this is 480 feet from home is the distance, total distance you're at. So y then is equal to, okay, sorry, y is equal to the distance equals you are 4,800 4, feet. Time we don't know, rate we don't know. Oh, rate is 10 feet per second, so that's 10. Okay, so we know that distance equals to rate times time, which, oh no, we use y equals to mx. So y equals to m of rate is 10. We don't know x, but we know y though, sorry. We know that we are 4,800 4, feet from home. We want to see how long it takes him to walk. Okay, divide by 10 divide by 10. X equals to 480 second. It takes him 480. He leaves school. Just Andrew leaves school and rides his bike. So he leaves school and it will take it will take Andrew. Sorry, we'll take Andrew 480 seconds, which is mm, 480 divided by 60 second in a minute. Okay, we're going to change this to minute. So we divide it by 60 um, second in a minute. That gives you eight minutes, which is eight minutes to get home from school. <laughs> okay, so to convert seconds to minute, you divide. Okay. Okay. Now, number four. This is a very vital, vital, vital question. It will be on your test. Something like this. 
Okay. Alejandro sets a girl goal to earn a hundred and eighty dollars. So the goal is to earn this much total. So it has to equal to one hundred eighty. Write an equation to represent how he can meet his goal by working at the library. So the library, I'm going to give X. And working at the theater, theater, I'm going to give Y. So let's read. Alejandro has two jobs. His first job is to work, is working at the library, which makes him $18 per hour. Now instead of H, we use library of the variable X. So 18 times X. Alejandro's second job is to at the movie theater making nine dollars an hour. Okay, nine times the number of hours, and we say we use theater as y. Oh, you're recording. So, um, we got eighteen x plus nine y equals to one hundred eighty. You need to define what define each variable. Okay, x equals to hours worked at library. Y represent hours worked at theater. Explain what each term mean in the equation. Okay, each term, 18x means um, the money Alejandro will make at the theater depending on how many hours he works, at the library depending on how many hours he, he works, means the money Alejandro makes working at the library. So, um, 9Y, I don't have enough room, I didn't realize I'd run it. 9Y is the money he makes at working at the theater depending on how many hours he worked, okay? And 180, I'm sorry, I don't have enough room. I should have enlarged it and make it smaller so I give more so. And um, 180 is the total amount added together with, this is what I need, $180 is the total amount of money made after adding there's not enough room I'm sorry after adding the money made from the library and the money made from the theater if you had enough room, I would write that. Solve the equation in slope-intercept form. Ooh, so 18x plus 9y equals to 180. It's in standard form. Slope-intercept form is y equals to mx plus b. Minus 18x. 9y equals negative 18x plus 180. Divide by 9. Y equals negative 2x plus oh, 20. Okay, looks like they want me and graph. Okay, at 20. Okay, 20 is here. It's 2, 4, 6, 8. From there you go down 20. Down 2 over 1. Down 2 over 1. It's your slope right here. Oops, sorry.
I can connect this because um, we're talking about hours and hours can be turned into seconds, minutes and stuff and dollars can turn into cents and penny so we can connect it it's not broken okay if Alejandro worked three hours and thirty minutes that's three point five hours remember that's out of sixty to half of half which is three point five at the library how many hours will he need to work at the movie theater to meet his goal okay so this is at the library and library is x so we got 18x plus 9y equals to 180 okay so this is the hours made is for the library so it goes here 18 times 3.5 plus 9y equals to 180 okay let's use a calculator here Um, 18 times 3.5, 63, perfect, 63 plus 9y equals to 180, minus 63, minus 63, gives you 7, 1, 1 equals to 9. Okay, let's divide that by 9 to both sides. Oh, wrong. 117 divided by 9 equals 13. 13, what y represents. How many hours will he need to work at the theater? <coughs> okay, Alejandro. will have to work. Thirteen hours at the theater to make a total and three hours and thirty minutes. To make a total of one hundred eighty dollars. It's not bad. Pretty good money.